Hi guys, okay, so I really wanted to make separate videos for these two, but I feel like the videos would be like two minutes short. I don't know how this, how long this video is gonna be, but I'm just gonna compile them into two. So I saw these two books when I was at Barnes and Noble the other day, um, literally last week, and one of them really caught my eye, which was this one, cause I really liked the cover. Not the cover because usually when you have like real life people on the cover of a book it's usually cringy um and it's like very like i don't know it's just like not unprofessional but it almost seems like it won't look good if you think it looks good like it most likely isn't i feel like the vampire diaries book covers are the ones that do it the best um but with the actual actors from the show not the ones that originally were printed so like for example like look at this one this is the book i'm going to be talking about first called sailor proof like it looks good like i don't know it just it looks good it looks like a professional photo um like it looked like it could be in a magazine i don't know so that's what makes it pass for me um so it looks really good this is sailor proof by annabeth albert i saw this at barnes and noble and i was like oh my gosh i need to get this i read the synopsis and nothing like what i usually read um, only because it was a gay romance story, so I guess we could add this to the June uh, list of stuff to read. Um, even though I read this in July, um, it took me two days to read this, so technically, yeah, no, it was still July, so I would I would say it's for July that I read this. Um, so it's about like 280, 290 pages, something like that. Basically, it's about, and there's gonna be spoilers, like I can't help it, but there's gonna be spoilers. Uh, this is about Derek, who is this guy in the, uh, the Navy. Basically, he, the story starts off where he finds out that his boyfriend was cheating on him, blah, blah, blah. So they're about to have homecoming, which is basically where they, um, they land and reunite with their family or their loved ones and he's trying to think of a plan of how to get back uh uh how do i say it like like a jab or like a stab in the back to his ex now um so his buddy calder who is with him in the in the navy has a younger brother called arthur who is gay who has known derek um but they haven't seen each other in a while so arthur's like all grown up now he's probably like uh, I think he was 25, and I think, I don't know how old Derek is, he might be in his 30s, but uh, the plan is to, for Derek to make out with Arthur, and Arthur agrees because um, Calder has done stuff for him, like favors for him in the past, so he feels like he owes him a favor too. And there's no way Calder will end up falling in love with Derek, because one, he's known him for like almost his whole life, and two, um, he doesn't do military. Like he doesn't do military romances. He doesn't like the long distance relationship. He doesn't like when they get sent to missions, they'll be gone like a year, you know, it's like too much. So they end up making out, like the first thing they do obviously is like part of the whole gag, part of the whole like joke. And then they start, they have to pretend that it's real because First of all, it goes viral. Their kiss goes viral. And also, oh, this is how the spine looks. And then the back. This is the paperback. Um, also, because Arthur's family is there, so they end up going on this trip. And then Calder tells Derek, he's like, hey, like, you guys are really making this look believable. Like, you can stop the act now. Like, I think we get it. They end up obviously falling in love with each other and it's just a really cute um really cute love story i love the writing the writing was very fast and there's a lot of spice in this there's a lot of steamy scenes but i think they were executed very well and i don't know you could probably say that their their relationship is lustful but like i don't know how true that could be because they've known each other like for so long so it's like maybe they've already kind of gotten through that um but the best part about this is that arthur tells derek one of one of them tells one of the other that let's use this game this like lie as a way for both of us to become 
better men or like better boyfriends for our future lovers and so that was basically the dynamic of this the trope of um fake fake lovers to real lovers i don't know if that's like a trope but that's what this is fake lovers to real lovers or friends to lovers um so they end up falling in love and the end of the story is basically derek gets a less i guess important role in his career so that he could be stateside with arthur and then they basically like buy a house together um and it's just like really cute and then there's a bit of cheesy moments but it's like a really really cute love story um i would highly recommend it and it's just like really really cute i don't think i have anything else to add they're really likable okay now the book i read after that i saw this at barnes and noble too i saw this at barnes and noble too and <clears throat> i was going to get it from Amazon, but it wasn't even available on Amazon. So Barnes and Noble had like an advanced reader's copy or something like that. I don't know. Somehow Barnes and Noble had it two weeks before it was released on Amazon. So, and I know Amazon's our competitor. So this is My Husband by Maud Ventura. And it's translated by Emma Ramadan. I think it's originally in French. Um, this is the author in the back Maud Ventura so it says that she lives in Paris so I think she's I think she's French um, this is her first novel though this was really good I saw this and I read oh yeah, so here here it is um, the front the spine this is how it was displayed at Barnes and Noble I saw the spine and I was like ooh like this looks interesting like just the name of it um this was really 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 good um it's only like 256 pages i think to be exact but this basically so i was hooked from the beginning i read like five pages i read like no i read like two pages at barnes and noble um and then i went home planned to buy it on amazon it's not available on amazon so i had to go back to barnes and noble the next day and i bought, finally purchased it because i was like i need to have this like i'm like really drawn to reading this I don't know anyone that has this um it originally came out i think in 2021 um but that was the french version this is the first time the english version comes out in july 2023 so i don't know any reviews on this book um but basically obviously there's gonna be spoilers like come on we're already there uh, so what happens in this book is basically this girl it gave me a lot of like nocturnal animals vibes like the tom ford movie it gave me that vibe and also gave me a vibe of a book that i wrote um where she's like miserable in her perfect relationship basically so she has i don't know how i'm gonna like go about it i'm like all over the place because there's just so much to say about this this book was insane like i haven't read a pov like this in a while um her consciousness her stream of consciousness there's not very much dialogue there's more consciousness thoughts than anything um so if you don't like that kind of book then you won't like it but there obviously is dialogue at some uh, at some points basically she tests her husband a lot of times um because she thinks he's having an affair come to find out she's the one that has an affair multiple times uh and she kind of gets off on the fact that she thinks her husband knows um when she hooks up with other men because she never like showers or cleans the scent off of the guy she's having an affair with she thinks her husband picks up on their scent or something something about it something about that dynamic like turns him on or something and those are the only times that he makes love to her and she's noticed this and it's just like she finds it like kind of weird but like she feels like he knows what's going on and it's just this whole weird thing she overthinks everything literally everything um it's just like so insane like if he's on his phone and she's not on her phone it's a big deal because she's like why are you on your phone like what is so important i'm literally here like i'm your world blah blah, blah. like she needs to be the uh center of attention like she has to be the center of attention she has two kids with this man and she 
always talks about how the kids are always getting in the way of her spending time with her man and these kids are young they're like probably like nine or eleven years old and she's always talking shit about her kids she's always saying like how she thinks that she could handle the death of one of her kids but she could never handle the death of her husband um every time she tries to have some time with her husband at night either to like try to make love or try to make out with him blah blah, blah. and then her kid one of her kids wants something i was like mommy mommy like a stomach ache blah blah, blah. like she literally was um like grabbed her daughter by the hand like roughly and told her like go to sleep now and then like she went back to her husband's room and her husband was already asleep and so she was like she was like oh my god like basically basically saying that she hates her kids um this is that kind of woman uh so that was the only thing that was like really unsettling about this book um she saw her husband flirting with her friend and her friend has a husband so as soon as she saw that this happened during her daughter's birthday party as soon as she saw that she like light switch went off she grabbed the husband of her friend and they literally went to go do that in the bathroom and her husband like she doesn't think he knows but like he knows because towards the end of the book um the epilogue is her husband's point of view we never even know her name or her husband's name um we get in the epilogue that he knew about everything he knows about all her journals all her diaries everything that she says about him everything that it's just like he knows about everything and he does all this stuff the husband on purpose because they've been together for 10 to 15 years okay he never even cheats on her he does these things on purpose like he'll flirt with the waitress blah blah, blah because he says that he knows she is a kind of girl that will leave him if the if their relationship is boring or if their relationship is not like drama filled which i can see that happening um and so he does all these things intentionally because he reads her diaries she doesn't know that he reads her diaries he reads her diaries and knows exactly how to uh you know fuck with her brain i guess you can say and so she's living one reality he's living another reality they're power playing each other it's this whole extremely toxic dynamic that they have but i feel like if you like magnolia parks and bj valentine's toxic relationship then i think you'll love this super toxic relationship that they have it's crazy like she's only blonde she's not even a natural blonde she's only blonde because her husband likes blondes and she knows of one of his exes she was a brunette one of the one of his exes was a brunette and she's always wondering like oh my god like did he love her more than all his other exes just because she's a brunette like you know like obviously if he has a pattern of being with blondes and he has one brunette in his timeline then obviously she's going to be jealous the most of the brunette because what makes her so special you know she stands out like a sore thumb she just goes so nuts into um her consciousness it's just so interesting the way that this uh woman thinks um and like she'll shop discreetly because she her husband doesn't like when she shops um because it's too i forgot what the word was but like i think she uses his money blah 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 um she only buys stuff that she's seen other women wear because um if she's seen them wear it and it looks good then she'll know that it looks good on her so that's when she'll buy it she won't buy anything that somebody has not worn before if that makes sense um also she um does things on purpose to get to spend more time with him like she'll put his work folder somewhere and then he'll forget it so that she has an excuse to meet him up for lunch blah 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 that kind of thing this is like this is who that kind of girly that she is so she'll use that as an excuse to like have lunch with him blah 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 um because other than that like they won't have time together and blah blah, blah. this takes place to, uh in seven days like a whole week 
and she sees days of the week as like in colors and it's very interesting how she sees that and so there's a lot of color um metaphors in this book and colors really mean a lot to her and it's just like i can sit here and talk about it for like an hour but like i don't want to say everything about the book because then it'll like defeat the purpose of you reading the book it's just not the same me explaining it than you reading it do you know what i mean but this book was so good like really really good i had a feeling that it would be good and then also um even with the translation because you know i feel like with a foreign language <clears throat> or anything that gets translated to english i feel like stylistic things get translated incorrectly so i might read one way and was intended to be read the other way if you know what i'm saying so just take it with a grain of salt with like the stylistic writing of it but for the most part it's pretty straightforward there's nothing confusing about the writing which i hate when writing is very confusing and just like doesn't get to the point like this whole book gets to the point right away and it's just it's all about her thoughts this is a psychological book like this is a psychological trip into this woman's mind it is so insane and I feel like if you like that kind of vibe, this is definitely the book that you're going to love. So I really, really highly recommend this. I don't like to rate books stars, but I would really, really highly recommend this book if you like consciousness type books like that um, and psychological ones. So go read this one and go read Sailor Proof. They're all really good.